The taxi we took was one of the most expensive things we paid for here in Taiwan. You can take transit for a fraction of that price. It just takes about two hours to get there from Kaohsiung. Foguangshan is open Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. on the weekends. However, the museum is closed every Tuesday. Entrance is free, but you have many opportunities to donate if you'd like. Today we are here at Foguangshan outside of Kaohsiung. It's got the huge Buddha we're going to walk towards right now. Uh, we just happened to be here during the New Year Festival of Light and Peace, so it's quite busy. <laughs> Fo Guang Shan Monastery was founded in 1967. It covers an area of more than 30 hectares. The Fo Guang Shan Monastery practices humanistic Buddhism. I don't know much about this sect, but from what I've read, it promotes the use of technology in an effort to modernize Buddhism. It also prioritizes spirituality over ritual. The complex faces east built along a central line. Beyond the welcoming hall are eight Chinese-style pagodas on either side of the avenue. They lead up to the Bodhi Square. I would suggest wearing comfy shoes. The walk from the welcoming hall to the statue of the Buddha at the back is over half a kilometer and on an upward slant. The path leads to the Memorial Hall, which holds several shrines, including a Jade Buddha Shrine. Above the hall are four stupas that symbolize the Four Noble Truths, and standing behind is the enormous seated Buddha sitting at 108 meters high. In the Bodhi Square are statues of Buddha's main disciples and the founders of the principal schools of Chinese Buddhism. Chris and I have walked the length of the pagodas to the area where the giant Buddha is and there is a Buddha relic here. Unfortunately, you are not allowed to take video in here so we are going to be putting away the gimbal and the camera.
Taiwan is famous for its vegetarian food, and Fo Guang Shan has a great buffet on the second floor of the front hall. Chris and I just grabbed lunch here. There's a vegetarian buffet. There's only 150 Taiwanese dollars per person, and it was delicious. We had so much. Uh, so now we're gonna go over. There's an old temple, about a 20 minute walk or a five minute shuttle bus ride down the road. So we're gonna go catch the shuttle bus and go check that one out now. Bought tickets, they're 20 Taiwanese dollars. We're gonna go to the other temple. I am very happy we took the shuttle because this temple is just stairs. It's just stairs and stairs. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know if it's the heat here that I'm just not used to right now, but uh, we finally, we are at the top, I think. Um, yeah, definitely check it out. This place is beautiful, but just keep in mind, lots of stairs. So that's it for us at this temple. We are about to take the bus back, get on the metro, and go back to Gaoxiang. This place is absolutely beautiful and definitely worth a day trip. Fo Guang Shan Monastery was beautiful and I really enjoyed coming here. It's definitely worth dropping by if you're in the south of Taiwan. The monastery is surrounded by mountains and nature and you can actually stay in the area and explore more. I really enjoyed editing this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it as well and hit subscribe if you're interested in more of my travels.